Hello, class. Today I will be showing you how to correctly submit lab assignments to the communication lab, as well as how to submit screenshots of tutor signatures to your professor. This applies for students who are in Com 111 or public speaking. It is paramount that you do this exactly as will be shown in this video. Otherwise, you may not receive full credit for the lab assignments. Okay, to begin, you obviously need to have completed your assigned lab activity pages, with your name written below the tutor signature line on the page. This is really important because it allows for the instructor or tutor to verify that the lab manual is indeed yours and that you were the one who completed the work. So once your work is ready to be submitted and reviewed by an instructor. Or tutor, you will head over to the communication lab shell and go to assignments. This is where you will see a list of all the lab activities, where you can select the assignment page that corresponds to the pages you would like to submit for the instructor or tutor to review. Now, this is really important, so pay attention. Please only submit the pictures of the pages. That are listed on the assignment page. For example, if I wanted to submit something on the assignment page for page four, then I would only submit page four, not five or six, etc. What sometimes happens is we get students who combine multiple activities into one file, even though these activities weren't related to the pages listed on the assignment page. And then submit it all as one document. That is not the correct way to submit it. You must only submit the pages listed on the assignment page. Now, sometimes professors may assign multiple activities in one assignment page on their Canvas shell. Here's an example: pages four to five. Now you might be tempted to submit pages four and five in one document under the assignment page that says page four. That, however, is not the correct way to submit it. If you take a look at the list here, there are separate assignment pages for those two pages I mentioned: one for page four and one for page five. The correct way to submitting it here would be to submit only page four under the page four assignment page, and page five under the page five assignment page. So yes, if you have multiple activities, then you'll need to submit multiple things, each in the appropriate place. The reason why it is set up like this is because each assignment page in the communication lab shell corresponds to one activity in the lab manual. This allows for the instructors or tutors to review the activities and sign each one off individually on Canvas. Kind of like signing off each activity one by one in person at the lab. This allows for your professor to be able to verify that each individual assignment was actually reviewed and signed off by the lab staff. Okay, so you've gotten your lab activities reviewed and signed off. Now what? Well, the next step is to submit the screenshots. Of the signatures to your professor, and there is a specific way on how that should be done. What you want to do is go to the assignment pages in the communication lab shell, where the instructor or tutor has signed off on the activity, and take a screenshot of their signatures to submit on your professor's Canvas shell. Now, what happens sometimes is students who have multiple screenshots of multiple signatures end up submitting them as separate files, and that's not the correct way to do it. 
I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it correctly. So since I have two tutor signatures, I will be taking two screenshots and submitting both in one file. Right now I'm using Windows and I personally like to use the snipping tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of the whole page for each signature. And then I'm going to put both of these screenshots in one file, such as a Word document. When I'm done, I'm going to submit that document to the appropriate assignment page on my professor's Canvas shell. So notice how I'm submitting only one document that contains however many screenshots of the instructor or tutor's signatures needed to complete the assignment. Okay, to recap, there are three very important things that you need to remember when you're submitting lab assignments both to the communication lab for review by the lab staff and to your professor. Number one, make sure your name is written below the tutor signature line on the lab manual so the staff can verify that it was you who completed the activities and not someone else. Number two, when you're submitting something to the communication lab shell, only submit the pages listed on the assignment page. Do not combine everything into one file if you have multiple activities. Submit only the pages listed on the assignment page. And finally, submit only one document containing the screenshots of the instructor or tutor signatures when you're submitting it to your professor. If you have multiple screenshots of multiple instructor or tutor signatures, then put them all into one document and submit that. So this concludes this video on how to correctly submit lab assignments for COM 111 Public Speaking. Thanks for watching and good luck!